Uh, we were talking with De'Aaron, and we know that he's not a fan of the Band-Aids. What are your thoughts on, on, on the, the Band-Aids trend? Uh, I want the whole arena wearing them. I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool. Um, Malik's earned it. You know, he's, he's, he's been a big, big part of this team, and he's just a funny guy. Did you hear about the fact that there's going to be 5,000 Band-Aids given away oh, to really? fans today? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. That's really cool. So you, you're, you're getting yeah. your wish. Yeah. It, that seems like the kind of thing that happens when the team is winning, it's doing well, it's having fun. Is that the atmosphere that, that you guys are feeling? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, um, a lot of good vibes. Like training camp from the beginning of the season, we said, you know, um, even though we didn't start right, um, er everyone in the locker room uh, were heads up and everyone was feeling good. He said, you know, Malik said, yeah, he recognized that not only there's support there, but he's playing well too and kind of joked that if, if it heals, he'll cut himself to keep it going. <laughs> I mean, is, is yeah. that something that you feel can you guys can rally behind, whether it's the Band-Aids, the, the laser outside? Oh, yeah, like of that? course. You know, um, anything that, um, you know, uh, we want to make it like a family here, you know, um, from coaching staff to players to the office to the fans. So any way we can all feel uh, like we're one together and, and going through this journey together uh, just makes it a lot more fun. You've played on national TV a lot. I mean, it's it's, it's happened. It doesn't happen a lot here in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you didn't play on national TV all that much and, and what that was like? So you're saying what, what was it like playing on national yeah, TV? Yeah, and then, and then, to, then to be on a uh, team where you would be on there a lot. A lot of cameras on. Uh, no space to get your uh, pre-game pre, pre workout before the game. <laughs> cameras, cables, people everywhere. You know, um, definitely different, you know, uh, talking to Keegan, to some of the guys who haven't played on TV so much, you know, just play your own game, you know. There's always things where, like, it gets in your head. People are saying, oh, it's, everyone's going to see you, you know, uh, play more, or they stop passing, you know. Uh, we just got to stay locked in, do what we're building here, and uh, play our own game. Nice too. D defensively, what's the key to, to trying to make Kevin Durant uncomfortable? Uh, it's it's, it's, it's going to be a team team defensive effort, you know. Um, the whole NBA is trying to guard him. He's averaging I don't know how many points, um, getting his teammates open. You know, he's one of those talents that comes once in a lifetime. And uh, all five of us are going to have to work. You know, there's clips where every person on the team is guarding him on one position, you know. And then at the end, three guys are contesting and he still makes it, you know. So as long as we can just make him uncomfy and uh, tire him out as the game goes on, it's going to help us. Going back, to that, going back to that national TV game, is that something that the team is aware of that you guys think about the fact that you're on a TNT game and it's kind of a big deal for the fans? Uh, yeah, no, Coach Coach uh, brought it up today and said that we got to lock in, we got to forget all the outside noise and uh, just focus on what, what we are building here and uh, how how we have been doing it, you know, and that is it together. All right, cool.